All right, welcome everyone. We are back on a brand new season of Permadeath Wildlanders. So you can see I have removed all of our old profiles. We're going to be starting a new one right here. We'll jump right into it. We'll uh we'll skip forward as appropriate to you know, make sure that we're not taking too long. Now, on this playthrough, we are going to be here. Just have to finalize the setup right there. We are going to be playing a light armor pickpocket pickpocket poisoner. Uh, preferably an assassin, right? But we'll probably join the Thieves Guild as well because that armor will be very helpful. The name that we're going to be going with is Harada Bitterbreath. Now, I should be able to tab over to this really quickly. So, in... The Elder Scrolls Oblivion um, is actually found in the Plains of Oblivion. There is an ingredient called Harada, and it's pretty freaking deadly, right? Damaged health, magicka, it even does, you know, paralysis and stuff like that. It's a, it's a big, ugly root that's all over the Plains of Oblivion. So I figured it would be a perfect name for our new character, right? So here, we'll get back to this, I believe, as it continues its setup. Um, we, let's see, I, I jumped in game a little bit earlier just to see kind of how we can build the character. Uh, we are going to make her a wood elf, so we can pretty much jump right over to that so you can see some of our perks, right? We immediately have all of the perks and the things we care about. Um, alchemy, archery, light armor, lock picking. we, that's perfect, like exactly right up what we're trying to do here. Um, that is way too many. As for the body presets, she will be female. I was thinking maybe this one just and you know I'm I'm a big fan of presets just because it's a little bit easier, right? So I think this preset's pretty good, right? Um weight is 69. Nice. So we'll do that. Her name is not Wildlander, her name is Harada. Oh my goodness, I, I've forgotten her last name. I wrote it down. Um, Harada. Goodness. That's it. Harada. Bitter Breath. She comes from a family of wood elves that has always had a preference for taking spicy ingredients and uh, adding it to their food or utilizing different poisons and, you know, things like that. Oh, I got a little bit of her teeth there, right? So we're going to create her background, right? So what do we have? Six skills. Um, we won't put any combat skills yet, right? We're more, we're much more interested in the stealth skills. Um, we're going to put one in alchemy. We are definitely going to need some evasion skill, right? Um, lock picking is going to be important. Pickpocket is going to be important. Now, this is the part where I've really struggled because we are going to want to be able to sneak around, but for the last skill, are we just going to go straight stealth? Because speechcraft is really valuable. Otherwise, you start with zero, right? Versus, do we want to put something in marksman? And I've gone back and forth, and I think instead of putting it into Marksman, we will put it into Speechcraft, just because gold is always one of those things that we really struggle with at the beginning of the game, right? So we'll finish that. So we just went straight stealth. As for our birthstone, we're going to go with a thief. This is basically just like a plus 10 to all of our stealth attributes. Um, Characters like this don't always last very long, so we can use all the early buffs we can get. I think I actually have the uh, the outline right here. Um, here it is, the standing stones, just as the quick guide for the thief right here. We're gonna hit yes, um, as if we can get the stupid page to load here. So the thief, right? <clears throat> um. Fortify one-handed by 10, Fortify archery 10, sneak by 15, Fortify lockpicking 5 points, so they're 5% easier. Pickpocket plus 15, 
That is crazy. And then uh, lockpicking expertise is increased by 20. So I think that's all pretty good, right? Um, now, unfortunately, I tried to look around my house to see if we could find some dice to figure out so that we can kind of quickly go through this. I couldn't find any, and there's no randomized thing. So there is a website right here that allows us to choose, let's see, oh my goodness, stupid pop-ups, and I, and I can't even close the, uh, let's see, we want, basically I'm just going to do it with my phone, one die that is three-sided, so we'll figure out which one, and we roll the three, so we're going to be surviving the wilds, and it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different options. So one nine-sided die, that results in a four. All right, so one, two, three, four. Looks like we're gonna be starting in Morthal. Seems like an appropriate enough place. Wastes of Morthal are pretty dangerous, right? Now I say if we end up dying on, like within the first, you know, 30 minutes, we'll probably just reload the character, but because Nobody wants to have to completely redo everything from scratch. Non-Dragonborn, um, standard difficulty, yeah. And uh, there we go. So we'll begin the story. We're gonna have to let the uh, the MCM configurations go. We have to adjust some like font sizes and icon sizes and stuff. So we'll, uh, we'll what we'll do, right? Oh, right, our religion. Um, what are we gonna, I don't think we're gonna start with a religion at all in the beginning here. We, we will do a quick look around, right? We're gonna definitely grab a couple of these. That was pretty good, right? Can you grab this other butterfly? I guess not. Eh. So we'll eat all the butterflies. Looks like we're safe up here. We are, there's some ruins right over there, but uh, Probably very dangerous. So it's around 9.30 a.m. What do we have in our ingredients? Yeah, see, like, you can see the fonts all squished together, so we're going to be fixing this. Um, fur equipment. Let's equip all of our fur equipment, right? We have one potion, uh, some stew, some other stuff, the ingredients we just collected. Excellent. Something weird is happening here with the inventory, so we'll skip forward to where all the MCMs have been properly loaded and stuff like that. After wandering the, <laughs> the wrong direction, right? We have found the safety of Morthal. I don't know why we were out in the middle of nowhere getting lost. But we're here in Morthal. And we definitely have to collect some ingredients, right? I, I'm not one for talk. Try to keep to myself. Need something? Um... Can nah, they train me? I don't think so. Well, we have 500 gold, but we still have to allocate our perk points. So we we have to be able to make money. Like that that is super important. Um, pickpocket is gonna be valuable, but I do want to be careful about what we put our first perks into, right? One of the things we're really gonna need. Is, is actually craftsmanship. Just just to be able to survive a little bit, like just a little bit. The other I'd like to have is restoration. And and so you'll notice like we're not actually, oh, oh look, excellent. Um, so we'll get some healing auras. You know, being able to heal is kind of important. Uh, we, we can throw a perk into pickpocket, right? If we do another perk, it, it, uh, so right now our base is 20% pickpocketing. If we put another perk in, the base will be 40% and we're able to apply the poisons. We're not gonna do that just yet. I think we are gonna put one for that. And something tells me that 25% XP skill gain when taking damage I'd, I'd like to have the extra armor, right? Any extra armor we can get is going to be kind of important. So, also, this axe is now our only weapon. So, we're going to hold on to that. 
We're gonna be wandering around town a little bit, trying to find anything we can get. So, scavenging for wood. Um, we're only basically at half our carry weight, so... And we're incredibly lazy, so anything we can get for free, right, we're gonna... We're gonna take it. See a Nurn root down there. Oh! Oh! Mud crab! Mud crab! Ah! We're not fighting a mud crab right now. We're not qualified. <laughs> We're not qualified. Yes, we are literally running from mud crabs. That is the uh, the stage that we're at right now, and I'm not embarrassed to admit it. Run, children! There's mud crabs here. Oh my god, it's right there. <laughs> it, it followed me all the way into the center of town. I test you. Okay, I'm gonna need some help. You're after that damn hilt? Go ahead. Try it up and do something. Somebody help. Get away! Ah! Wow, this thing's tough, man. Holy crap. All right, uh, let's let's head into a general store and see if we can't get a uh, like a hunting knife or something. Oh God, it starts to rain right as we beat the crap out of the thing, right? Is there like a, there's gotta be a general store around here. Is this it? I think this might be it. Oh, it, come in. I hope hey I Justin, what's up? We're we're coming. I'm telling you, I heard starting our uh, so you're an new character here, right? Oh, oh, excellent. She's an alchemist. Okay. Um, probably get rid of that to start off, and the alchemist toolkit. We don't. Hey, there we go. Nice. We just level up. Um, get rid of the Nord Mead too. We can start off by getting some of the ingredients we know we can combine. Like, we know that chicken's eggs, and then... Let's see... Oh my god, fire salts. Goodness. Uh, giant's toe, we'll, we'll buy one of, right? Wow, a nern root. Um... Trying to, I'm trying to remember all the uh, the recipes from scratch, right? The let's see, let's see. So I know that. What did we have? Um, Charis eggs. If we get like two or three of these, we can Hi. craft those. Does she have like a like an alchemy table in here? There we go. We should be able to combine the Nern root with the Charis eggs to make a, and, and we'll try a death bell, because why not, right? So there we go. Oh, look, it worked. Some really nice potions of invisibility here, and we're just gonna craft those right up, right? And just sell them, because we need the gold. So you're interested in my potions and- So we went from 250 gold to slightly more. Right? I mean, we're up to 1,200 gold, so that's pretty good. Nice. Nice, okay. Mm. We we got, like, a terrible deal, right? We only sold them for, like, 300 gold, but... Let's see. Any other, like, wood we can take? Firebrand wine. Numbs your sense of pain by 75 points. Take that. Be happy to take that. Yeah, those are all like barrels and stuff we need. Any other weapons? Oh, 
Beyond that, I seek only to be left alone to pursue my research. That seems fair. Um, you deal with powerful forces. Take care they do not We We could get some quick, easy levels in Conjuration here. And how... How close? So we were already like really close to leveling up. So I think we're gonna take the five levels forces. Take care they do not overwhelm for conjuration here, because it's like literally like 300 gold, right? We might even get a level up out of it, but I'm doubting that. No, we didn't. So what do you have to say? I had you figured for a mage. I think Anything you'll good? appreciate this. Uh, not really. Till next time. But uh. You know, let's take a, a little little look around here, right? What do we got? Some empty soul gems, right? Anything good? I mean, not not like particularly. Some human skulls and stuff, and some wine, but uh, I don't know. I mean, here can we just kind of? All right, well, wonderful to uh, drop in and meet you, right? <laughs> Learn a couple traits here. Excellent, excellent. All right, time to go. Oh, this is the smith, right? Yeah, are you the smith? Hmm. Blades, yes, helmets, here we go. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. Excellent. So we're looking for a steel hunting knife, right? We'll take one of these, definitely to start. Very nice. Elven dagger of gleaning. Wow. That's pretty nice, right? Here's a nice dwarven dagger too. The, the we we might go with the dwarven dagger, right? Because it has a. Uh, a pretty good base enchant there. I think we're going to take it. We're going to take this Dwarven Dagger. It's going to be our new primary weapon, right? Excellent. Um, our armor is like hot garbage. And so if we can find anything slightly better, that would be good. <clears throat> Excuse me. We did take the very first trait in... What is it? Mm -hmm. Like, armor, right? Um, specifically for, what is, did, did we? Can't remember. Yes, we took the, the first, very first skill in uh, craftsmanship. So, mm -hmm. we, we gotta start somewhere. We, we really do. So, we'll grab a, uh, did I already have one of those? No, let's, let's take a look at what we can do with kind of improving the armor that we have here. Because it's all fur, right? Do we need fur plate? Is that what we require? Um, Good day. Let's take a little look around here. All right? Oh my goodness! Oh, he has a bunch of just steel laying around. I mean, we're not doing anything suspicious or weird. Um, yeah, it looks like we need fur plate. It barely looks like we can even increase our uh, our XP though, right? There we go. We we managed to steal all of his steel. Or not steal, his uh silver. Excuse me. There it is. Five silver ingots, right? And we're over encumbered. Just to kind of add insult to injury here. So we will what can we drop? I don't know. But I think it might be time to leave town. We could probably sell these. Drop like three of these, right? There we go, excellent. All right, time to go. <laughs> Stealing a man's silver. Oh, we yeah, we still have this thing to, uh, here, we can uh, clean it. It'll take like forever, 
right? Yeah, I'll take all morning. And we'll harvest the ingredients out of it because we need the, uh, <clears throat> the practice, right? It literally took like five hours. Uh, we'll... No, we won't, we won't butcher the meat, but that should be good enough. That should be sufficient for now. So let's get the heck out of Morthal because there's nothing good in Morthal. <laughs> yes. Hey, what's up? Need something. Also, this is a good way to get speech level ups early on. Um, here. Of course. We'll we'll give this wonderful, nice man some flowers. Here we go. Need something? Yep. Where are you headed? We are going to go. Where's a good place to go? How about Windhelm, right? Or, uh, well, well, before we go, we are going to very quickly see if there's anything we can steal in the all Jarl's quarters here. But we're already looking pretty over encumbered. So, we do have to be careful. Morthal has enough problems as it is. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Oh, yeah, we're just, uh, just here to do some, uh, some cleaning. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Uh, what? Oh, nothing. All is well. I need a uh, a lantern. Oops. How are you feeling, The visions continue to hold me in balance. Dang. Um. So this this is episode one. We uh had had some complications with Eric. Who are you? What are you doing in here? Anybody in here? Oh, hello. Wow. Wow. Okay then. Well, there we go. <laughs> Anything else we can take? We'll take some, uh, some frost salts, right? And uh, we, we do need some more healing potions. I will be honest. I, I don't know what I took, but it's that. Fortify stamina. Here, let's drop some stuff off here. Let's just kind of... Much better. Much better. Who's coming? Oh, hello. All right, time to go. Time to go. Quick, before they know it was me. Don't want to stick around too long. Good afternoon. Where are you headed? Yeah, we're going to uh, Windhelm. Windhelm, eh? City of Kings, they say. Hope you packed warm. Yeah, hope hope we packed warm enough. Uh huh. Uh huh. Just take me. All right, so here we are. How do we look, by the way? I mean, we, you know, we're a wood elf. Hello. Yeah, good to, good to be here. All shifty-eyed. Not strong enough to do any real combat yet, but... To... what was that? That's kind of weird. That must be a bug. Just kind of putzing around the docks a little bit, right? Wait until I have hired thugs chasing me. I mean, maybe. That's what we were after. Hey, I got an evasion level up. Whoa, there we go. Total level. Very nice. Oh, can't take any of that. <coughs> <coughs> to the gods. <clears throat> Alright, we'll put it in <laughs> health. Hold, hold on one sec. Hold it there, elf. I've been instructed to tell all visitors that this is Stormcloak territory. If you're an Imperial spy, better turn around right now. You have been warned. Now move along. Hmm, alright. 
Okay, bro. Mm. Just what you see here. So let's see. I don't haggle. Take a look. Anything else we can pick up that we desperately need? Hey, there we go. There's a nice backpack. Take one of those. Um, some soap. Do have to be clean, right? Anything else? Some ancient texts. Um, small fur tent. Yeah, that probably actually sounds like a pretty good investment. Uh, we're over encumbered now, but let's see. Is there anything we can sell here that she'll let us sell? I'll sell that. A bounty. Um, anything else? This this is more mountain flowers than we kind of know what to do with here. You. You there. Train me to be a better pickpocket. I'll teach mm. you, but it'll cost you. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna need some more. Uh, we're gonna probably need at least a thousand gold in order for us to get those levels, right? The divine smile. Here, I, uh, I know a couple things we can steal. Right in here. Oh, hello. How you doing there? Yerim is a fine house and it's up for sale. You should talk to the steward in the keep if you're interested. Sure. Um need something? Would uh would would you like a flower? Can I argue with that. <laughs> sure, have a uh Yeah, have a flower, right? Ah, I'm just uh looking around, right? I'm the the new assistant. Yes. Oh. Oh my goodness. It's a good thing we were like right behind that door. Seriously. Oh, what was that? Vampire dust? Nice. Glad I was listening. Anything in here? Five gold. Anyway, where were we? Oh, more vampire dust? Bro, oh, frost salts. Nice. Okay, have a good day. <laughs> ah. Then it's true, what everyone is saying. That Aventus Aretino is doing the Black Sacrament, trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, Grimvar. Always with the nonsense. No, no, of course not. Those are just tales. Fine, then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child. Wait! That boy, that house, they are cursed. Ha! Huh, then I'm right. I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right. I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. But Aventus Aretino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. Hmm. Well, we'd be happy to learn a little bit more about uh, the Dark Brotherhood. We can get this lock open. We, I'll, I'll be... Ah! I'm gonna break all my locks trying to get into this kid's house. Okay, good. And we got in without being detected, Sweet even mother, better. Sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in bloody fear. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Finally! My prayers have been answered! You all right? It worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the things, and then you came. 
An assassin from the Dark Brotherhood. Uh, yes, of course. The Black Sacrament. It took so long. So very long. But now that you're here, you can accept my contract. Contract? My mother, she... She died. I... I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften. Honor Hall! The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the kind. But she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us! So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here, and you could kill Grelod the Kind! Please hurry. There we to go. To be honest, I'm kind of lonely here. As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall, I really miss my friends there. Excellent. Well, I'll uh, just be relieving you of some of your... Uh... Some of your things here, right? Not, not because I'm hungry. Excellent. And yeah, not much in here, huh? We got a place to sleep here, actually. Take your hawk feathers, though. <laughs> and your frost salts. Oh, wow. Okay. Whoa, hey. Your salt. Apparently, we haven't learned, like, the, the effects of salt yet, which is interesting. Um, anything else in here? Hang up here, right? What we got? A barrel with more salt. Nice. All right, excellent. Moving up in the world. In this case, metaphor. Or literally, I don't know. Do we, um... Yeah, I, I now we can officially learn all of the ingredients, so... <clears throat> Excuse me. Just munch on everything. God, this, this is a lot easier to get these ingredients when you, uh, can just kind of harvest them from everywhere, huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Here, hold on. We can, um, put a healing aura on itself. Oh my goodness, it took up, like, all of our magicka. Here, we also now have a dagger. Perfect. Um, thistle branch, garlic, salt. It's not that bad. I don't appreciate loiterers, if that's what you're here to do. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, we'll craft two of those. So this is what it looks like when you don't have a light source. Oh, look! He's willing to accept all of our stolen potions! Hey, this is great! Keep all those, get rid of that. Yeah, he doesn't care where the potions are from. Until next time. Excellent, we're up to a thousand gold again. Let's see if we can't get a, uh... A lantern from over here. I don't take a look. Iron. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Tankard. Iron pot, iron kettle, but no iron lantern. Maybe we can kind of. Oops. Land. Nope. Thank you for your custom. Maybe he has one. Everyone, the finest weapons and armor. No. Oh my god, look, he has uh, a bunch of scaled equipment, though. This is perfect. Look at this. Look, we got, we got um, scaled boots, scaled bracers, and a scaled helmet. We were looking for scaled equipment. That's exactly what we were looking for. If we wanted to, we could upgrade to this thing, too, but it's a little outside of what we're looking for, right? Elven dagger is a bit much, too, yeah. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, Yeah, that's perfect! Here, we'll uh, do this by the light, right? Excellent. So, da-da-da. Yeah, there we go. 
That increased our armor rating by 22, 16, and 19. So that's like literally, you know, like 60. That's excellent. We we still need a new uh, body, but... Metal hammered. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Yeah, we can... We so we can break these down. Uh, honestly, they're they're so like if you meet anyone in cheap travels, you need good that I'd rather probably just break them, them down. For the fur equipment. <laughs> Buying and selling a wide range of assorted goods. The best Great. Okay. Take home Windhelm's finest and freshest. Hermir. The finest weapons and armor. Hey, give me an iron bar here. All right. And we're gonna see if we can craft our own lantern. This is one of the reasons that we got the uh, the kit, right? Uh, we can craft our own lockpick, which is helpful. Definitely gonna probably invest in some of those. Um, where is like the lantern? There it is. I don't know. Excellent. Perfect. Bunch of steel and iron on the ground, but we're uh I take a look. Just gonna have to buy some, right? Oh my god, it is that it's like it's not that expensive. It is that expensive. They're literally like 35 gold each. Until next time. What the heck? <clears throat> Excuse me. Any place we can go steal some iron? Because apparently it's worth so much. Ugh. To find like a bunch of iron junk that we can smelt down. Seriously. Oh, uh, the next thing we can. Oh, it it should just work in our inventory, right? Yes. You, you a dark elf lover? Get out of our city, you filthy piece of trash. Let's see if we can't beat the crap out of this person, because it'll be some good combat practice. I don't like your attitude. Too bad. This is our city. Don't think I can take you? 100 Septim say I can punch you back where you Oh, okay. We, yeah, we still have our healing aura on us. I wanted to double check that. All right. Fists only. None of that magic stuff either. Let's go. Come on. Let's see what you're made of. Yeah. Yeah. Stand there and take yeah. it. Uh, that's it. That's your best. Oh, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I'm trapped by a goat. <laughs> Drive that snow back to the ground. Who taught you to fight? It's nothing. Oh, I should have taken a stew. Your precious force, elf. This is gonna be a close fight. Oh, he took Skuma! Am I allowed to take a potion? I don't have any potions. Oh, that was a power strike. What is that? Random dress? Neither of us are doing like any damage anymore. Just go for it. Who taught you to fight? Keep those hands up. That was kind of a pathetic fight. That wasn't a fair swing. You lost. Give me my money. Here. <laughs> Fruits and vegetables, all ripe and ready for your table. Uh, okay, we... Here, I, uh, I also just realized, like, we're hungry, we're thirsty. Knives and other goods for the home, all at reasonable prices. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, we won. That's all that matters. <laughs> Still counts. Still counts as a victory. Hmm. Take care, friend. Maybe I can find a fence around here. That'd be nice. I don't think so. 
Oh, did you see a lantern? Oh, no, you saw a lantern in the, uh... No! Oh, no! Game crash, no! All right, we're gonna end the episode right here. We, um, we pretty much lost us acquiring all of our new armor, as well as the fist fight. And for some reason, when we try to trade people, it, it doesn't work. So I, 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 I don't know. We're just gonna end the stream today with with that so we'll we'll pick it up tomorrow um the shops are closing in game too it's 8 p.m i can't figure out what's wrong with the bug without just restarting the whole game so thank you all for joining us tonight have a wonderful day bye